Okay, one more problem from uh, the section on chain rule and generalized power rule. Okay, we've got a function y equals 6 minus 5x over x squared minus 1, the whole quantity squared. Okay, actually this one is just a uh, generalized power rule really, but it kind of gets a little bit more complicated because within that we're going to have to use the quotient rule. Okay, so what do I mean there? Well, dy dx, you know, the question is find the derivative of y, so we take the derivative of this whole thing, 6 minus 5x over x squared minus 1 to the power 2. Okay, now when you look at this, what you see, you know, and the basic outside of the expression is something that's squared. Okay, whenever you have a function squared, you have to use the generalized power rule. Okay, so the derivative of this, according to the generalized power rule, it's 2 times the thing inside, the 6 minus 5x over x squared minus 1 to the power 1. Okay, and this is where we have a little bit more work to do. It's, it's not just that, it's times the derivative of what's inside. So we have to multiply by the derivative of, I could probably just barely tuck it in here, 6 minus 5x over x squared minus 1. Okay, so what I'm doing here, you know, I've got a couple more things to do. I actually have to use the quotient rule to compute this derivative. So while this is, you know, just another generalized power rule problem, to get that actual derivative at the very end, I have to use another rule, which is one of our more complicated ones. Okay, but overall it's not too bad. We've got 2 times 6 minus 5x over x squared minus 1 to the power 1, so I'm just leave it as it is. Okay, but then I have to multiply it by the derivative of this, which to get that we need the quotient rule. Okay, the quotient rule says take the denominator times the derivative of the numerator. Okay, so I've got the denominator x squared minus 1. The derivative of the numerator, 6 minus 5x, is just going to be minus 5. Okay. okay, and then I subtract from that the numerator, 6 minus 5x, times the derivative of the denominator, which is 2x. Okay, and this is all over x squared minus 1 squared, because in the quotient rule, you divide by the old denominator squared. Well, again, you know, one of the more drawn-out problems. I need some more board space here. Uh, <coughs> but I can probably get it pretty well wrapped up in one more line. Okay. What do I got here? 2 times 6 minus 5x over x squared minus 1. Okay. Now this I need to simplify, so what do I have here? Well, x squared minus 1 squared. We don't need to do anything with that right now. But the numerator is going to be negative 5x squared plus 5. Okay, I think you know, next, this is really two steps. We have to distribute the 2x inside and then distribute the minus sign. But if I'm careful, I can do both of those at once. So I think I'll get negative 12x and then plus 10x squared. Okay. Okay, so almost done here. Just need to kind of you know, simplify things a little bit. And basically, I'd say there's not too much more you have to do. We've got 2 times 6 minus 5x. Okay. Now we have fractions that we're multiplying here, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply all the numerators together and, and all the denominators together. Now the numerator is going to be, well, what's this last term? It's going to be 5x squared minus 12x plus 5. Okay. So that's just the, as much as I can do to simplify this. Now the denominators are x squared minus 1 and x squared minus 1 squared. So all together that's going to be x squared minus 1 cubed. I've got one x squared minus 1 and two more here, so I'll get x squared minus 1 cubed. Okay. And you know, again, nothing else really needs to be done to simplify this. It's probably what you'd see in the back of the book, a problem like this one.